Hello fans, friends, and foes alike. You are here once again with the indefensible Paul Bazile, the man who simply cannot be defended by anyone, even if you agree with me, which is most people. I don't think I'm saying anything radical. I'm not saying any... What's that? Do you hear that? You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like a dog whistle. Have you ever heard a dog whistle before? Apparently everybody has. That's the, the, the thing that's been happening over the past couple years when people want to explain things that totally contradict what somebody actually says. And it happens a lot with the president. It happens a lot with Donald Trump. And it's the biggest conspiracy theory that's ever been that everyone just sort of nods along to and goes, oh, okay, it's wackier than moon landing hoaxes. It's wackier than, than you know, aliens running the government secretly. It is the most bombastic, ridiculous idea that I could possibly conceive of. Is the thought that if somebody says one thing, the opposite is true and only the real evil followers could hear it and understand it. Ah, that Donald Trump is so clever that when he, you know, talks about a shooting at a synagogue, what he's really saying is, I approve of that shooting. Even when he's saying these people are disgusting and they're horrible. And they're terrible. And of course, people like this are, are, are should be locked away. And we have no room for any kind of sentiment like this in our country. That secretly means that he's all about it. And I guess he, you know, the dog whistle is so, so pure and so fine that his Jewish children and grandchildren and in-laws do not understand it either. They, they, they just sit and nod along like dopes. And the only ones bright enough to catch on to it are Vox and the Gothamist and Huffington Post and Politico and they understand dog whistles and you know what? CNN, CNN and MSNBC, they, they hear the dog whistles and they're gonna tell you when they hear a dog whistle and the conspiracy really isn't the dog whistle. The conspiracy is this, this overarching theme, this inexplicable theme that has been brought up since 2016 that Trump supporters and anyone who's basically not voting socialist are secret Nazis and the country's being run and overrun by secret Nazis. And these secret Nazis have their secret Nazi codes like the okay hand gesture. And the, when you tell them, when you explain to these people, and I have, I've tried, that the stupid okay hand signal was just a troll. It was a way of saying, look, we get them to believe anything is a white supremacist secret code because they are obsessed in finding it fucking everywhere. I remember a couple years ago, there were the, the spray painted markings on the street that Sarah Silverman took pictures of and it was to indicate where work needed to be done or like an electrical uh, line was there, whatnot, and you see them in the street all the time in areas where they're doing construction. And I remember her totally insisting, "Oh my God, these people are drawing swastikas on the street, even though it looks nothing like a swastika. It's like a line with an S going around it." But no, 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 no. this must be secret Nazi symbology that the rest of the world's missing. But thank God, thank God. These liberal elites and intellectuals are able to pick up on it and translate it for the rest of us penny stinkers, the rest of us proles, the rest of us just dirty, filthy bums who just are too stupid to even know when where Nazis are or who they are or what white supremacy is and we'll just vote for Trump because that's how they see us. So it's a larger commentary. When they say you're dog whistling or, or there's a dog whistle and let me explain what the dog whistle is. What they're really saying is you're a dumb motherfucker. You're a dumb motherfucker and you can't plainly decipher and understand plain English being used whether it's from a celebrity or a politician or whatever and if he's saying something disagreeable and explaining it in a concise way, explaining it in a way that is pretty much undisputable, for example, Charlottesville and the president coming out saying, I'm not talking about the Klan, I'm not talking about white supremacists, but there were good and bad people on both sides. It's basically saying, 
table all the people we know are rotten. There are other people who just showed up thinking it was a rally. And by the way, I'm not defending Charlottesville. It was fucking disgusting from, from stem to stern. But there were people, there's always people that aren't in the juice, that don't quite look at it. Maybe they're half in, half out. They have a toe in the juice. And I happen to know... Uh, a guy who is a black person who went to Charlottesville because he said, I've never been to a political rally before. And I, I just, I heard about it because it was in the news and they said conservatives were showing up. So I'm going to show up. And I, and I had to like, just shake my head and be like, it wasn't a conservative thing. It was absolutely like everyone in the juice knew what it was. They knew what Kessler was trying to pull. Right. But no, 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 no. This is a dog whistle when Trump comes out and, and denounces it and says it was terrible and blah, blah, blah. And they clip good and bad people on both sides. And that's all we hear about. And they say, how come he's never denounced white supremacy? Mm, it's a dog whistle. They're secret Nazis. Trump is a secret racist. And can I ask you a question? Do, do you know how you could tell who's a white supremacist and a white nationalist, um, a white ethno statist uh do, do, do you know how you, how you spot those people? They tell you. Uh, loudly and often and annoyingly and autistically, they tell you. Ask Richard Spencer if he's a white nationalist. He'll say, yes, I am. You know why? Because he's a fucking idiot. And he's a white nationalist. Or he's a CIA operative. That's another conspiracy theory. Ask David Duke, what do you think about white nationalism? He'll tell you exactly what he thinks about white nationalism. But when you ask... Milo Yiannopoulos, when you ask Stephen Crowder, when you ask Thomas Sowell, Donald Trump, or any of these people, it's so funny because if you're a person of science, as we all are, I am, and I know that you are watching at home, we're people of science. What certain factions in this country have done is they come up with a hypothesis, right? Then when you have a hypothesis, you have to test that hypothesis. And then they put it to the test. Well, what's the criteria? Okay, I think that Trump supporters and Donald Trump himself are secret white supremacists trying to, to make the country white supremacists. And that's what make America great again means. And you heard that from the beginning. Make America white again is what it really means. It really means it's just for white people. And then when we all sat there, and when I say we, I mean Americans went... No, Amer America isn't, like, it's weird that you think America is just for white people because I don't see it that way. I, I, I see America as, as ideas, and, and anyone could have good ideas or bad ideas, black, white, yellow, and everything in between. That's how I look at this country. How come you look at this country as just white people, white people, white people? Because I don't see it that way, and nobody I know really sees it that way. But it seems like one side of the political spectrum, and I think we know what side, when they hear America, they hear white. When they see the American flag, like the Betsy Ross flag, not, not too long ago, was being called a white supremacist flag. And you go, yeah, but that flag had nothing to do do but white supremacy but what are you what are you talking about they go ho oh, ho ho they just they're too scared to put up a nazi flag so they put up an american flag because they don't really like america they want hitler and he's like really that that's a bold statement and if you have that as a hypothesis you're going to need a lot of criteria and evidence to back that up of which they never seem to have because what happens is no matter what comes out next, if they ask, is, is this about Nazism? No. How do you feel about Nazism? Hate it. Don't like it. How do you feel about white nationalism? Oh, but you said you don't like Nazism. But what about white nationalism? Don't like that either. I, uh, well, how do you feel about other races? I've sat through interviews where literally they just like ran down a laundry list of, of eth ethnicities and races. And that was all the questions they had. Like, how do you feel about black people? And I'm like, I love black people. Like, what, what are you talking about? And it's like, well, how do you feel about gays? It's like, uh, I, I think gays are great. I have no problem with what anyone wants to do in the bedroom. Well, how do you feel about Jews? And it's like, what about them? I, I have no feelings on on, on the Jewish people whatsoever, I think they're fine. I think they're great. I think, like, what do you, what do you want me? I, well, actually, to amend all these things, including white people, black people, Jewish people, Asian people, uh, Muslim people, I would have to ask which ones. Because I can't just sweep and blank and say, well, these people are good over here, but these people aren't good. It's like, no, I, I've met complete 
idiots and assholes from all walks of life because it's a human thing and that's how I feel. And I'm always really clear about that. And no matter how clear I am about that, the questions will come up again because when he says he thinks Jewish people are fine, it must be a secret hidden dog whistle. So only his followers, only Only the real racist will nod along laugh and go, yes, yes, what he says that, what he means is, is the camps are being built. And it's like, what? Like, how did you get that from that? Come on, man, we we know when you're dog whistling. We know about the secret Nazi cabal. And I guess the, um, I guess their logic behind it is the reason why it's so secretive and why we're, we're, you know, I guess doing secret zig heils to each other as, as a greeting and openly saying we embrace all races and, and, and whatever, creeds, sexual orientations, and, and everything in between. The reason why they think that is because they think, well, because we get them in trouble and we get them fired, so they have to all be secretive. And the crazy thing is, then what about the people who aren't? Why are we pushing them away so hard? Why are we saying, I don't want anything to do with David Duke or Richard Spencer or, you know, whatever, the Klan or, or pick your weird Nazi club ideology or whatever. When you say we want nothing to do with that and they go, well, do you allow black people to hang out with you? Allow black? Yes, they have my permit. Yeah, no, dude. Yeah, look, here's black guys. Here's here's Spanish guys. Whatever you know, we're we're into it all, man. We don't care. I like people. I don't like you know. I like ideas. I, I don't like someone because of their ethnicity. Matter of fact, because I'm Italian, and nothing's more annoying to me than when a stranger just comes up to me and starts asking what my ethnicity is and i tell them oh i'm italian they have like a dude oh my mom's italian what does that make us friends you're still an idiot you're still some coked up douchebag uh just talking my ear off who i'd rather be left alone we're not buddies we're not italian you know paisanos now because you know what it's a weird coincidence like wow People three generations removed from you come from the same part of the world as people three generations removed from me. Boo, you're blowing my mind. I, I, what? Wait, you mean in an area like New Jersey or New York that was, you know, settled by people like that and, and you know, those migrants came here and this was the hotbed of Italians and you met another Italian? Wow, that's, oh, you're, oh my God, dude, this is getting spooky. But no. Everything is a dog whistle because it's really hard for them to fit a square peg into a round hole. And I've even, you know, the the, the multiracial white supremacy thing, when you go, well, how do you explain black Trump supporters? And there's a ton of them. How do you explain Latino uh, Trump supporters? Ton of them. Gay Trump supporters? Ton of them. How do you explain those people? They go, (laughs) well, because my hypothesis can't possibly be wrong. It must be multiracial white supremacy and i've even heard the theory from the mouth of autistics that how groups like the proud boys could get uh you know black guys in and how trump supporters could be multi-ethnic and multi-racial and whatnot it's obviously not because patriotic groups aren't white supremacists It's because we are so underground with it and so secretive about it that how we how we do it. Oh, my God. I'm just I'm so embarrassed that this secret is out there (sighs) that we woo black guys in with drinks and are hot MAGA women. We get hot MAGA chicks in red, white and blue bikinis. and, And, you know, of course, these evil white supremacists that that the the patriots of this country apparently are, according to some people. Of course, they don't go, well, let let me have sex with these MAGA women. They go, no, 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 no. We're too racist to just have sex with white women and MAGA women and red, white, and blue bikini clad women. No, we're so racist that we take these hot chicks and we let the black guys fuck them. Swear to God, I've heard this. We go, here, hey, hey, black friend, put on this MAGA hat 
and have sex with this with this sexy white chick that I'm going to introduce you to. And here, I'm going to while we're doing it, we're going to make jokes. We're going to slap each other on the back. I'm going to buy you beer. I'm going to buy you drinks all night. And yeah, then at the end of the night, you go home and you fuck our hot women. Ha 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 ha. And then I guess when they leave the party to go have sex with all the women, we all high five. Uh, when I say we, I mean, you know, all the evil people <laughs> will be high-fiving each other and going, we sure showed them <laughs> they're hanging out with us. That is the actual theory that I've heard come up multiple times, that we're wooing these people. The other one is that, you know, multi-ethnic people who support Trump like certain ideas, but they, when we're just openly racist to their face, apparently, they just ignore it. Have you ever thought, have you ever thought for two minutes Maybe, just maybe, you're wrong? Have you ever thought for five seconds you don't know everything? Have you ever thought your hypothesis is wrong? And have you ever thought you, you, might be a fucking idiot? Check out Indefensible Paul Bazile on YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Indefensible Paul Bazile. Ah, ha, ha. ever get the feeling you've been cheated?